Hello and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video. I have a Trader Joe's holiday haul. So I got a few things from the Fearless Flyer that they just recently put out. I have some really fun stuff. Some stocking stuffers, self care, late night bites, freezer meals, all that. So let me show you what I picked up. All right, my friends, so here's everything laid out. Let me get right into it down here. I have some salmon. My my son, my younger son, actually has been asking for salmon for dinner, and I have nothing in the freezer. I need to make a Costco run badly. So right, what I did was I picked up a couple of packages of some fresh Atlantic salmon. This was actually on the Fearless Flyer. So I'm gonna air fry this up tonight for a dinner along with some sweet potatoes. In fact, here are the sweet potatoes right here. Uh, the Murasaki, these are purple sweet potatoes I was reading that these are like these are slightly I guess better for you than a regular sweet potato I'm not sure how true that is but I love the actual flavor of these these are a much milder taste um, compared to like actual like yams I guess you could say so moving back over here you're probably like this is quite excessive why three bags of Trader Joe's Takis but let me tell you why so this bag is actually gonna go into the pantry and this is kind of small it's a nine ounce bag so you know almost the size of my hand not like a regular size bag of chips but I'm gonna keep this in the pantry and then the other two are actually gonna get be given to my boys in their stocking they love the Takis and so I like to put like snacky items in their stocking stockings along with like necessities like toothbrushes, toothpaste, all that good stuff. So this is going to go into their stocking. I have a pineapple back here. My, my kids have been absolutely loving pineapple, so I'm taking advantage of that. So I picked that up. I'm gonna slice this up here in a few days. I picked up a lot, you guys, a lot of frozen items that I wanna put stock my freezer with. Like I mentioned, my freezer is pretty much empty. We went through it right after Thanksgiving. I kind of cleaned it out, made a ton of different meals so it is fresh and ready for my Trader Joe's haul and then whatever Costco stuff I pick up soon. So I've never tried any of these items. This is all brand new to me. Um, I don't know if as I cannot pronounce that. I'm not even gonna try. Something masala, but I know these are chickpeas, a type of like an Indian dish. And then I also got the lamb vindaloo. I hear this is kind of spicy, so I'm kind of excited about that. My husband cannot try that, but at least he can maybe try some of that up there. Also, let me know if you guys have, have tried any of the things that I picked up. I picked up a lot of new things today. So please leave some comments for me down below of what I will enjoy or what you didn't enjoy maybe, and also what I should get next time from the freezer section. Okay, I think this was in the Fearless Flyer. I can't remember. I'm part of a Facebook group that is like all Trader Joe's oriented. So I loved reading through that and getting some fresh ideas. And these dark, dark chocolate orange sticks are something right up my alley. If any of you guys are familiar with, oh, it's like the English treat. It's like a cookie with, it's like a shortbread cookie with a little bit of orange like marmalade in the middle and then some chocolate covering over the top. It is so delicious. My dad actually got me onto those. These kind of reminded me of that cookie minus the shortbread, so I'm excited to give that a try. I've always heard about this item, but I've, and I've seen this item, but I've never picked it up. This is crunchy chili oil. You can kind of like drizzle this on top of soups or any type of like meat dishes. So I'm gonna g give this a try. I am excited for that one. I did pick up some mandarin oranges, but you guys, I need to tell I need to show you something here real quick. I don't know if you can really make that out back there, but back there is our mandarin orange tree. And if you can see, there are several mandarins on there and they are delicious. Now it's not enough really to feed our entire household often, but that thing has been planted literally guys for like seven or eight years and it's done nothing. And this is the first year that it's actually produced something edible that is actually tasty. So I'm so excited to have that little tree back there. Hopefully it produces is more in the future so I don't have to be buying any more store-bought mandarin oranges. I did pick up a small bag of some avocados here for like lunches or to put in wraps and whatnot. A bag, I believe this is Honeycrisp apples. I think these were, might have been like on a sale or in the Fearless Flyer, can't remember, but to pick up that because my kids love these along with like some peanut butter and a sprinkling of cinnamon. I always like to get some mini tomatoes. I used to have a really large cherry tomato plant back there, but of course it is now winter so that is a no-go, but I did pick these up just to throw in like our eggs or sandwiches, salads, all that good stuff. I picked up a bag of the frozen roasted corn. I like to make creamy chicken enchiladas with this dish. I will link a video that I did over the summer where I prepped some enchiladas for our family vacation and this goes into it. It is so 
good. Oh, and along with that, I guess I could say this too. I got a little jar of green chilies. I'm gonna throw that into the enchiladas as well. This is new to me. This is a steamed chicken soup dumplings. I'm gonna make some soup, some chicken dumpling soup. I figured with some broth and then along with this chili oil, onion oil like drizzled over the top should be delightful. So there were a few dairy items that I was looking forward to picking up. One was the eggnog. They were out of stock. That's okay. But they did have the non-dairy oat creamer. This is a cinnamon bun flavor. I'm looking forward to having this in the mornings. Adding just some wintry goodness to my coffee. I also picked up a package of the frozen hash browns. These are so, so good. So I'm going to make these over Christmas break for my kids for breakfast. On the Facebook group, somebody had mentioned to get the uh, mango slices. I love mango slices. They also have the green one, but I wanted to give these a try first because these are unsweetened. Um, so I'm going to try these, see how these go. The last time I did my Trader Joe's haul, I was looking for the white bean chicken chili. They were all out, but they were in stock this time. So I did grab two in here are white beans corn poblano peppers and some chicken so I got two of those guys another great frozen uh, food item that I did pick up. This is pr pretty much from me because no one else can have this. Maybe my older son can have this. This is tikboki. This is like a spicy uh, Korean rice cake. These are bomb. They're like, they're kind of like softer than a pasta. I don't know how to explain it, but I think the, the sauce is like a gojujang sauce. So good with a fried egg over top. Yes, please. All right, I'm going to say these two things together. So someone on the, guys, I'm telling you, that Facebook group is phenomenal. So obviously I was going to pick this up anyway. It's the way winter wake up tea. I got this last time. It is delicious. But someone said to get the cinnamon swizzle sticks. I think these are were in the fearless fire too, but to use that with that as a nice like late night treat. Oh my gosh, I'm so looking forward to that. And um, on the, sorry, on these cinnamon swizzle sticks, these are cinnamon sticks, they are rolled in rock sugar. So I'm not sure how that's being held together. I don't know if there's like some type of, I don't know what's making the sugar stick. I have no idea, um, but we will find out soon. So I did mention I picked up some self care items. So here we go, some candy cane body butter, some whipped hot cocoa body scrub. Oh my gosh, I am dying to get into that. And then they do have some candles. Now this one is the chocolate croissant candle. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is unbelievably good smelling so good they also have the cedar balsam candle i believe i picked that one up last year so i wanted to try something different can't wait to burn that one some cranberry butter cookies you guys these look so phenomenal so these would look like little shortbread cookies with some dried cranberries in them a nice little sweet treat this i picked up for me and my husband to have like just as a quick like snack or a lunch idea with like a salad i love this flatbread so much it has burrata prosciutto and arugula this is a must item every single time this is the black Black Forest bacon and I did get three packages down here so one will be going into the fridge and then the others into the freezer to use for a later date. My boys have been asking for some apple cider. This is 100% honey crisp apple cider so I'm going to warm this up for them over their winter break and give them just a nice little warming apple cider while we watch some Christmas movies. This cab sob was also in the Fearless Flyer. This is the Trader Joe's Grand Reserva. This is something that I have to get every single time. So. I usually get, I think, maybe one box when I go, but whenever we eat them, my, my kids are always like, okay, where's the rest? And I'm like, you guys ate all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple, I'm going to hide this box so that, that makes them think that there's no more left, but I'm going to put some of these guys into their stockings. This is a great treat idea. I actually asked my mom to get a box of this as well so that she could stick them in their stockings for at her house when we go over there. I did pick up a bag, and I did open it already, of some dry roasted unsalted pistachios for snacking on. I also got some baking items. So I have some sweet chocolate chunks. I can never find chocolate chunks anymore. They used to sell them at Walmart, the Nestle brand, I believe. I cannot find them anymore. So I wanted to pick up a bag of that for my brownies. Also, I want to try experimenting with these caramel sea salt baking chips. I thought, okay, maybe like an oatmeal... Like a caramel apple oatmeal cookie sounds bomb. How I'm going to make that, I don't know, but I'm going to experiment around with that. Some cheeses that were in the Fearless Flyer for late night snacking. Some creamy gorgonzola. This is a blue cheese. And then this 
figgy cheddar. Oh my gosh, you guys. Very much looking forward to my husband being off of work here soon so that me and him can have some date nights at home and I'll just make our own little charcuterie. And speaking of charcuterie, I did get some vegetable items for us to snack on. I got some sugar snap peas right here. Not only for my kids' lunches, but for us to snack on. These mints, these mints in particular, are bomb. So I wear the Invisalign liners right now. I'm not wearing them, but your mouth tends to get really dry if you're not drinking enough water and so these mints really keep my mouth from getting dry my lips from getting chapped so love these so much i'm not a mint person really i used to love gum uh, and I have gotten away from that. But these are delicious. Also a good stocking stuffer idea if you're looking for um, what to put in your loved one's stockings. Of course, my pug needs a stocking, right? He needs a Christmas gift. So I got him these little peanut butter and vanilla flavored dog treats. They are, I'm not gonna open it right now, but they are pretty tiny. So these make for good treat ideas. And he's older, he's 12 years old, 13 years old actually. So his teeth aren't that great. These feel pretty soft. So I think these would do well for any dog age. I also did pick up a couple of loose garlic. I did get some Persian cucumbers. I'm waiting to go to Costco to get the English cucumbers, but these will hold us over until then for lunches, of course, for charcuterie, snacking, all that. This is not new to me, you guys, and probably not new to you. This is the mandarin orange chicken. The, I get two bags and this feeds my family of five pretty well with maybe like a little tiny bit of leftovers for one person the next day. But this makes for a great fast dinner idea. Pair it with some broccoli, Brussels sprouts, whatever you got, rice, wonderful meal idea. And speaking of Brussels sprouts, I did get a Brussels sprout, pretty long too, a Brussels sprout stock. I did that because I wanted my kids to see how they grow. They haven't seen this yet, so I'm excited to show them how they are instead of you know, how they come usually in bags. So I want to see them in their natural state. I did get some baby bok choy. I'm going to make, uh, I mentioned that chicken dumpling soup. I'm going to throw these guys in there as well. And going into that soup is the vegetable broth. I was thinking about doing chicken broth, but I think vegetable broth will be a lot better. So I did get that. I picked up some green dragon hot sauce. This stuff is so delicious. I like to put this on our egg and bacon bur breakfast burritos with sauerkraut. My kids love it so much. So good. Some a fig and olive crisps for our charcuterie that I make um, and my husband loves these guys so much I just got one box I usually get two I'm gonna make some wet burritos here coming up soon if you don't know what a wet burrito is it's basically just like a, a ground beef or ground turkey burrito with some refried beans in it and then over the top you would put some enchilada sauce and some melted cheese on top I think they call them something else elsewhere in the country. I don't remember what they call it. I know some people don't like saying wet burritos, but that's what we call it here in California. Don't know what else to call it. This is one thing I forgot to mention right here. The dark chocolate straws. These are dark chocolate covered shortbreads. I prefer dark chocolate any day over milk chocolate or semi-sweet. Very much looking forward to trying these out and I'm sure my kids are as well. Moving back over here because I missed several things. Some frosted shredded mini wheats basically just for like a quick snack or something. Uh, I got so excited about some of my food. I've skipped over several things. I did get a bag of arugula just to have like on our in our sandwiches or wraps or on top of like our eggs in the morning. I like including greens wherever I can. I did pick up some frozen Thai shrimp gyoza. These are like frozen pot stickers essentially with some shrimp in them. I bought these maybe a couple years ago. I can't remember when. My kids absolutely love these so getting these as like maybe an appetizer to any type of Asian dish that I make. I totally forgot about this guy. It's a little mini like tabletop poinsettia. Poinsettia as I pronounce it. Not sure. But this is going to go on our kitchen table. Add some festiveness to our kitchen. I was starting to put stuff away and I completely forgot about these. I hid these because my daughter's here and she would absolutely go goo goo gaga over them. But I got three of these hot cocoa stirring spoons. These are gonna be great stocking stuffer ideas, you guys. Pick them up. Okay, and one thing, okay, I didn't buy, well, technically I did buy these. They're 10 cents a bag. But on the Facebook group, the Trader Joe's Facebook group, they suggested using these bags as Christmas wrapping, what the heck, what a great idea. So you would just take these little handles off and then wrap whatever you have in these bags. And I have several of them, you guys, because they did double bag several of these. I don't know if you can see that back there, but they double bagged a lot of the bags. So I have quite a few, especially from last year too. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna implement these wrapping paper bags this year for Christmas. Also with these bags, if you guys didn't know that, they give out stickers and apparently the stickers can go onto the houses somewhere. I don't know where. I didn't think to ask for the stickers this time, but if you have kids with you, I think that's when they hand them out. 
so you could decorate the bags with them. Such a cute idea. All right, my friends. So that is it for this Trader Joe's holiday haul. I hope you guys liked it and got some new ideas to pick up when you go to Trader Joe's next time. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I would really love to have you around and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.